what were the practices like? I'm sure, like, I mean, just you and Sherm going against each other, and obviously, like, famously, like, there's, uh, you know, I just, from all the footage I've seen and, and, um, and, you know, hearing some of the, I guess, scuffles or fights that would come out of them. I mean, it was like, and, and then I would hear Pete talk about, you know, the way that you're truly treating this shit as championship football and the practices, I think, with guys like you and Sherm and, and, uh, you know, Earl and Cam, just the D, and then, um, you know, just, everybody just as hungry on offense. You couldn't not uh, have that type of a, a clash like that. I mean, yeah. and it's what made you guys so so prepared, right? My my therapist told me this. She said, "Conflict is the price of something deeper," you know. And I think that's what it was because we all loved each other like brothers. Mm. We didn't. We didn't. It's not that we disliked each other, you know. But when you stepped on the field, this was the standard. And if you didn't meet the standard, there was a problem. And it was. It wasn't necessarily like. If you didn't meet the standard, it was basically saying that you didn't care about the other guys around you. Right. You know, and that's not okay. We're about winning. And that means I need you to do your job. If you don't do your job, then I can't do my job. And if if I can't do my job, then I can't put food on the table. So you're not allowing me to put food on my table for my family. Whoa. You know, so that was the level of accountability that we had. And yeah, did we push the boundaries of that? Absolutely. But when you're in a family, you're going to have fights, totally. right? And it's not about the fights, it's about how do you come back around after those fights. And we always galvanized even stronger after those fights because it was like, I'm pushing your buttons because I need you to be better. I need you to be better. And you know, the thing that I love about Pete and John and the, also, the thing that I also hate, that, that I didn't I shouldn't say hate, that pissed me off about them yeah. is they were the same way. You know, they, they, were, they were competitive in, in a different sense. They tried to make everything work until they couldn't. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. They tried to do everything they could to make it work until they couldn't. And, you know, us on the other side of it is like, nah, this shit ain't working. It needs to be fixed right now because I only have a limited time in this NFL yeah. before I got to go. So you got to make this shit right, you know? Um, but I love the fact for them that they they were competitive and trying to make it work every time as long as they could until they couldn't. And they gave us the free reign to push it and, you know, to push guys and you know to make it our own well, and what were those battles with you and Sherman like Sherm held me every every practice <laughs> Sherm no like Sherman like man what they what they should do is they should go back and they should they should they should compile all of our one-on-ones <laughs> and they should release it oh shit I wish they on would his do that. podcast I, I would love that let him do DVD commentary I would, on I it. would love that Sherm where are you there's my Sherm cam Sherm Sh let's go dude Sherm and I battle we'll the footage every day and uh, you know, at that time, it was like I was I was the leader in the the receivers room. He was a leader in the defensive back room. So we were the guys who were setting the tone. Oh man! And so we had to practice at that level every day, and we did. And you know, there's a lot of times I would beat Sherm. There's a lot of times he would beat me. But every day it was a battle, and we set the tone. So that was the standard. So you know, Sherm and I go. We're battling. We're fighting each other. The next two guys, you have to do the same thing. Mm. And if you didn't do the same thing, why are you not doing the same thing? We're out here trying to get better because we're trying to win. 